Hey, what up y'all? It's me, your boy, Lil D, coming at you from my house. And today I'm gonna be taking you along. This is a nursing video, taking you along for my clinical day. I'm a CNA, clinical instructor, and you're gonna follow me around for 12 hours. So let's start the day off with some eggs, water, and we're gonna leave a little bit early so we can get some coffee. And that's the nice thing about being a clinical instructor is that you can actually enjoy your coffee. But yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so I did leave early and I got some coffee, which I'm almost done with. This clinical group does 12 hour shifts, which they don't always do 12 hour shifts, but they need, this is an adult class and they need to get their hours in fast. So we can come between seven to seven or six to six. And today they chose six to six which is a little bit early, but at least we get out early. The first thing I do when I get here is have everybody sign in. And uh, right now I have six students. So we're at a nursing home where we have assisted living and skilled nursing facility. Each of them have three CNAs on each side. So I split them up, alternating each side every time we come. And I partner them up with the CNA and I get that done probably by 6.20, 6.30. And from that point, I kinda tell them that I'll check on them later. That way they can get situated with their CNA. They can do their own thing with them. And it probably won't be till around eight o'clock that I'll go around and check on everybody and see if they have any questions for me. But something I don't get to do on the unit when I have patients is enjoy some coffee. So. Yeah, if you're a clinical instructor, always get your coffee because this is the only time you get to enjoy it as a nurse. It is now 10 o'clock. So at 8 o'clock, like I said, I went around it on all the students and make sure that they're busy doing something. Um, the ones that were in rehab, no, assisted living, were busy feeding the residents. And then the ones that were in skilled, they were passing out trays. So. They're good from that. About 10 o'clock now, I'm just hanging out, waiting for them to come ask me any clinical questions if they have any. But in the meantime, I'm doing some homework for my master's class because why not get paid to go to school? And uh, getting paid by the hour to go to school is kind of nice. They do get points in this program. It's mostly if they stay professional, if they come prepared, if they're on time. So usually I'm pretty lenient with the points. Everyone gets a hundred percent unless they're really talking back. They don't have their stuff with them multiple times or they're late multiple times then I can't give them full credit. So yeah, only eight more hours to go. <sighs> oh goodness. Teaching clinicals, just any kind of clinicals really depends on where you're teaching them at the facility there was one time that we went to the nursing home and the staff was not that nice to the students that i had there and there were a couple instances where i had problems with the staff and my students so that wasn't a good experience second time they had an excellent staff the place was a little bit older but they didn't have a meeting area so i would literally stand at the nurse's station the whole time I was there with my students, which was good because I was accessible to my students, but there was also never a place to sit down and eat or actually have a formal meeting. This time, this nursing home is really nice. We have a conference room, as you see, and it's rather big and spread out. That way my students aren't all clumped together, which can look kind of messy. So it really just depends on the clinical facility that you're going to. And a lot of times you don't have a choice of where you go to. It's kind of just what facility accepts you first and that's where you gotta go. It is 2.30 now. We have about three and a half more hours. Then we'll meet for post-conference and that's when I give all my students their points. That's when we talk about anything that they need to have addressed. Obviously there's textbook nursing assistants and there's real life nursing assistant. So I'm here to kind of clarify that and just make sure that they don't get stuck in real life nursing assistant prior to taking their state boards. Once they're on their own, they can kind of determine their own practice, but we're here to learn how to do it the right way. So yeah, I'm just sitting here now. We had lunch, talked about things that have gone on so far and uh, 
I am slowly running out of energy because this is my fifth 12 hour shift in a row. And wow. Um, I feel like this video is just all over the place. I have completed 12 hours at clinicals with my students. We had post-conference after and they just kind of tell me like more interesting stuff and kind of tell me what the nurses do and I tell them not how to act when they become a nurse and so forth. I'm a little tired, so I hope you guys like this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It was a little different of a video, but I felt I should share this experience because I only have a couple more days left. So yeah, that is a day in the life of a CNA clinical instructor, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.